In today's digital age, nothing hurts more than being ghosted. I'm sure most of you know what I'm talking about, but just in case, being ghosted simply means that someone has stopped all forms of communication with you for no reason that you are aware of. This act of disappearance is so common in the dating scene, but what many people don't realize is that ghosting is becoming more and more relevant in the recruitment process. So now being ghosted during the job part doesn't just mean that you didn't hear back from a recruiter. It means that you did the whole process, nailed the interview and waited to hear good news or some feedback and then nothing. So for a candidate that has spent months on their job search being ghosted by what seemed like a promising position can be such a big letdown. There's no reason for a recruiter to leave a candidate hanging. But in today's video, I'm going to break down some of the reasons that a candidate might get ghosted as well as how to come back from it. So number one reason is that it's reasons beyond the recruiter's control. At times, there are a number of reasons behind the scenes that are out of the recruiter's control. Perhaps the role has been put on hold or there has been budget cuts. In these examples, the recruiter has no influence over the situation. And at that point, filling a job is no longer a priority. Number two reason is you may just not fit their ideal candidate mold. And sometimes that role that you applied for may be different than what the hiring team is looking for. A lot of the time, the recruiters have their own set of criteria for what makes an applicant more or less appealing. And it may not even align to the hiring manager's expectations. And that's something totally out of your control. Number three is that the recruiter has changed jobs or is on vacation. So maybe the recruiter is on vacation for a bit or they've recently changed jobs and are having someone else take over their duties. Perhaps the person taking over may do a follow up, but they also could be just so swamped with their new workload. So now, though there is no excuse for recruiters to ghost a candidate, I did want to provide some quick tips to help you recover from this growing phenomenon. So first, make sure to follow up with the recruiter. So my suggestion when it comes to follow-ups is to send only one follow-up message. This follow-up message should be a courteous way to understand where the recruiter is in the process and if they decide to go in a different direction or not. And of course, for you to reiterate your interest. Next, use it as an opportunity to reflect. Take this situation with a grain of salt and reflect on what you learned from the overall process. Were you able to enhance your interview skills? Were there any yellow flags about that opportunity that you are now dismissing? So usually there are signs our gut picks up on, so don't ignore them. And finally, remember that what feels like rejection is actually usually just redirection. Although this may be a painful situation to accept at the moment, when you land your perfect job, you will realize that this didn't matter at all. So it's just so important to keep that into consideration that if the recruiter didn't hire you for the role, you probably wouldn't have enjoyed that role too much either. So for more about rejection and redirection, check out my other video here. As frustrating as being ghosted is, it does happen, so the least you can do is accept it as part of the job search process and try your best not to personalize it. Continue to send out applications and keep your eye on the prize. You got this. And if you're finding that this is something that is constantly occurring, send me a message and let's chat. 